Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Zoetic, and we back with episode five of Cooking with Zoetic. Uh, yeah, listen, really up in that kitchen, trying to find what's missing, but time keeps on slipping. All right, so for this episode, I really wanted to focus on colors and presentation. Um, you know, as you guys know, I've been talking about this for a long time, but um, my new R&B album is coming out very, very, very soon. And um, just to give you guys a little subtle hints and previews, um, you know, I'm working with some really, really nice colors today that I think are going to complement uh, the color scheme of what the album is. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some uh, scallops with a nice um, <clears throat> kind of experimental... Uh, kind of sauce that I came up with a long time ago. This is a green apple jalapeno sauce. I know that sounds kind of wild, but um, just think of it basically as a mango habanero sauce, but with different ingredients. I just replaced the mango with the green apple and the jalapeno with the habanero. So it's pretty much the same thing. It's got a very interesting flavor. Um, like I said, I just wanted to try something new, something experimental, this is something that I did a while back ago, but I just haven't touched on in a long time. So, um. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Scallops, um, obviously, really, really great seafood. If you're into seafood, man, I got some great uh, fresh scallops for you. And I got some sides of uh, my take on cilantro lime rice and a um, little bit of squash and carrots on the side, trying to get a little bit healthier, you know what I mean? Not trying to get too heavy, not trying to get too, uh, uh, you know, fatty with the, with the foods here, you know, trying to keep it a little lighter. Um, and that's really it, man. I thank you all so much for tuning in and, uh, you know, let me know if you guys are trying out um, any of the recipes, specifically this one. You know, this is a really kind of out there, left field kind of a recipe. So let me know if y'all are trying it, man. And, uh, thanks for okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some apple juice, some unsweetened apple sauce, and one jalapeno. We're going to throw that in the blender, get it blended up. And I also strained it a little bit just to make sure I was um, getting as much of the jalapeno chunks out. And uh, I know it sounds like a really weird combination at first, but once you get it all blended together, put it in the saucepan and you get some brown sugar in there, get it boiled down. It starts to take on really nice uh, sweet but spicy flavor. Uh, I wish you guys could try it because it's kind of weird to explain, but it's really good. Uh, next up. We're going to get our rice on to boil because that's going to probably take the longest. I'm um, going to season our water with some chicken stock, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and cilantro. Also got uh, some lime juice and a little bit of lime zest in there. And you guys know how it goes. One cup of rice, two cups of water. And you're looking at some perfect rice. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to get our vegetables cooked here. I want to just get them a nice sear, you know, get them a good texture. Not not mushy, but still kind of crisp. Um, these nice little wavy cut carrots were, were pretty nice. They worked out nicely and paired with the, with the squash. It was really a, a springtime, summertime feel. Next up, we're going to go ahead and sear our scallops. I'm seasoning here with just salt, pepper, and Old Bay. Um, seasoning both sides. We got our heat on high, trying to get that uh, a hard sear because you want that, that texture when you cut into it, but you still want it nice and tender. And here is our finished result. Um, I got some fanned out jalapenos and apples on the sides, just for presentation mostly. And I also have some slices of lime placed under the scallops. Got the sauce on top, very generously. And like I said, it's a very nice, sweet, spicy, just a, a very odd combination, but you would be surprised at how good it is. Um, I've actually tried it on wings before too. It's really, really good. Um, the rice, you know, my own take on cilantro lime rice came out pretty nicely. Very bright. And like I said, those vegetables, nice and crispy, very well seasoned. 
but just a perfect puff, perfect summertime plate. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. You know, I appreciate it. Catch y'all next time. Peace.